Welcome back to the 2024 APP Punta Gorda Open. Taking a live look at the Pickleplex, where as you can see, the time is right around 8.30 local. And yet we have so much action still to bring you here in our mixed doubles. We are in the main draw. And if you've been with us all afternoon, you've seen quite a few teams punch their ticket right here to this moment. Getting you ready for this match on Championship Court. Taking a live look at CJ Klinger. Just 18 years old out of Columbus, Ohio. He won the men's doubles gold medal at the 2023 APP St. Louis Open. And then he is partnered up in this tournament with Eva Radikowska. She is 44 years old out of Marietta, Georgia. These two know each other's game very well. So excited to see them here on the APP tour and see what they can do with that. On the other side of the net, you have John Sincola and Alex Strong. Sincola, 43 years old, originally out of McHenry, Illinois, just outside Chicago. He did win a gold medal in his hometown of Chicago, men's doubles. He also won a silver medal in mixed doubles in Houston with Tammy Emmerich. Alex Strong, 19 years old, a birthday five days ago. Happy belated birthday to Alex. Originally from Falls Church, Virginia, recently relocated to the Utah, the state of Utah, Salt Lake City area. 11 total medals on the APP tour last season. And I was talking with her today. She said being back here in Punta Gorda is incredibly nostalgic for her because it was right here at this facility last year that she made her first ever Championship Sunday appearance on the APP tour when she was playing with Megan Fudge in women's doubles. So a lot of fun to watch these two teams match up here. Some pros on the court this evening. What are you most looking forward to, Dom? Well, again, Radikowska and Kling are very familiar with each other. Um, they're going to be tough to beat here. I liked when I saw them in the draw together, so they're going to be very tough to beat. Good chemistry on the court together. But then Alex Strong and Johnson Cola like this matchup too Sincola loves his forehand so he'll sit heavy in the middle which allows Strong to get to her strength her backhand which she'll slide to that right sideline and sit on if she's allowed to and Johnson Cola will give her that freedom to do so but here's the question it's going to be Alex Strong face up with Eva Radikowska in this match the ladies will be face up because of the fact that CJ Klinger is left-handed so this is going to come into play I know Alex Strong would be much more comfortable if Radikowska was cross court from her. It's going to be a little different with her in front. So it's going to be interesting to see. That's my X factor right there is the ladies face up on each other. Oh, 100%. You know Klinger is going to come over, be aggressive in the middle, take control. One of Radikowska's favorite shots is that speed up down the line. If she tries to go right at Strong, Chong's going to slide and open up the court on that backhand side. So if she can sneak it down the line, she has that opportunity to jam Chong up a little bit. Sincola is a little bit weaker on the backhand side. If he can, if if he gets that ball back behind him and it takes him out of the middle, then you know he he struggles with that extension. So. The key for both of these teams, one, obviously, keep the guy out of the middle, but, you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit easy with the ladies going head-to-head -head straight down the line. It's going to be who can be aggressive cross-court, who can pull the guy out a little bit wider to open up that middle without being tentative or without making the mistake of leaving a ball up. So many things to watch unfold here at Pickleplex. 8.30 at night here, these pros have been sitting around waiting for their opportunity to get on the court, Dom. What do you think is going to be the most critical aspect in making sure that they got warm, they do what they need to do after sitting for the vast majority of the day to get a chance to play? So difference maker right here is what a lot of players don't like is the bye, mm. right? So you have Alex Strong and Johnson Cola have not played yet. You have Eva Ratajkowska and CJ Klinger, who have already played a match. They won 15-7 against Altsoft Merchant and Mari Humberg. Yep. So they have a game under their belt. 
like 10, 15 minutes ago at the latest and are now back into a game setting. How fast can Trong and Sincola jump into match play is going to be the difference maker here because, again, we're in the second round. What's right. that mean? It's still one game to 15 here. So you cannot afford to start slow like maybe you could possibly in a two out of three. Can't afford that right here. So we're getting ready to play here on championship court. I do believe it One is going to be Alex Chong with the serve Time in. Zero, zero, two. to get us started. 0-0-2, zero, zero, the score for Chong's serve. Side out. A good count of that from Klinga. Zero, zero, 0-0-1. And a side out, CJ Klinger with the serve. Oh, changed her mind. Radikowska looked like she was going to rip that ball, and then she stopped herself. Zero, zero, two. Unlucky Point. jump off the net there for Trong. One, zero, two. One, zero, two for Radikowska's serve. Whoa. Side out. I don't think Kalinga wanted to leave that one up that high. <laughs> no, I think Sinkola wanted to hit it harder, too. <laughs> <laughs> he barely did that. Yeah, that ball floated on Klinger a little bit. Rajkowska moved up, expecting it to be lower. Got himself caught up. Yeah, that's a good Second spot. Seven. Trong likes to sit on that backhand. Zero, one, two. Rajkowska takes that slower ball right at the right foot. Klinger with Side the backhand out. right at the feet of Sincola. And Chad and I say it all the time about some players. Klinger is one, the zero, epitome one. of a bad ball baseball hitter. <laughs> <laughs> he gets stuff back that he has no business getting back. Case in point. Right there. And then goes what on the point. attack. Right? I mean, that ball is at his feet, and he just, like it was nothing, reset. But again, Perfect. He, he doesn't try to do too much with it. One. Aggressive ball, recognizes that it's up. He's not going to attack it. He's just going to try to get a paddle on it, block Point. it down. And then the step in there right into the body of Trong. Elevated ball, couldn't get out of the way of it. Three, zero, one. That one left just a little bit short by Radikowska. Three zero two. So three zero two. CJ Klinger with the ball and the lead. Point. Great placement there by Radikowska down the middle. Four zero two. And this is, Chad, what we talked about in the pregame. This is the slow start that Sincola and Trump could not afford to have. And it's worth Five, noting two. we are still in the second round here. So Trung and Sincola got a bye, but we are in the round where we are playing one game to 15 to decide who Side moves out. on. And so Sincola and Trong, not as much time as they would normally have to overcome Five, a slow start. Do get a side out here. Klinger wow. with a great angle taken on that overhead for the winner. AJ hit it right on the head. It is a perfect angle. Zero, five, two. Nice get there from Sincola to even keep him in the point. Yeah, and that's the Side spot out. there from Rejkowska. The speed up down the line. Chong tries to slide to the left and open up the forehand. Five, zero, one. They're just a little too far out of the reach. Second serve. Tough ball to get up and over right then. Five, zero, Comes two. flat down that net. Know, 
off the net, looks like, from Radikowska's paddle. Klinger, one of the best at going pace Zero, five, to reset. Mm. He can change that, that momentum so quick. Point. That ball, a little wide, little long from Klinger. One, five, one. Gets Strong and Sincola on the board for the first time in this match. Nice speed up there from Trong, right about chest high on Klinger. Almost don't mind it right there. Flip it up, right? Change it up. Put Alex Trong back there on the Two left. Five, Change one. things up a little bit. I know they didn't do it on purpose, but. back caught that one just a little too deep tried to give himself some reaction time probably didn't need it second serve uh, Sincola reads it right on the speed up from Radikowska Good job on the uncoil there, catching Radikowska in transition. And just like that, what started as a five-point deficit two. for Trong and Sincola now have an opportunity to tie things up here on this service side. Side out. And I jinxed it. My bad. That's all on you. I'm sorry. My fault. 5-4-1. Five, 5-4-1 four, one. Five, four, one for Radikowska's serve. Sincola trying to be everywhere all at once. Can't quite get back to get a paddle on that one. Point I like, goes. I like the start up here from Trong. Six, four, she one. goes backhand to four, or forehand to backhand, but great recovery from Radikowska. A little too much there. It's tough to keep that ball in with the open paddle. Need to get a little bit more roll there for Regkowska. Six four two. Six four two for Klinger serve. Radikowska can't get any love off the net there. And so it will be a side out. Yeah, and it, it's tough to go over that high part of the net there. Four, six, one. Because if you go a little too flat, get it over the net, then Chong is able to take it out of the air. Klinger with a big forehand there at the feet of Sincola. And Klinger saved him because Radikowska goes speed up cross court to Sincola. Klinger kept him in that right there. Beautiful reset. Side out. Because typically you don't want to speed up cross court because you're going to get your partner lit up. Six, four, one. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice hands from Second Sincola. Seven. That ball's behind him on this reset. So John Sincola coming in your living room right there. Six, four, two. Point. Nice dip, nice shape there from the drive from Regkowska. Wasn't a seven, four, two. extremely firm drive, but had the shape to it. Side out. Good ball by Trong. Gets Klinger kind of in between right there. 
which is hard to do because he's usually at the kitchen line to get that. He's making up for it regardless right there. Basically boxed out Radikowska at the kitchen line. Said, I'll take this. 4-7-2. 4-7-2 for Sinkola's serve. Sinkola just stays on the attack on that point. Yeah. Cuts the lead to two. It's a good step in attack there from Tronk. Great flip there from Johnson Cola right down the middle, gets the ball to drop inside the baseline. Another look here. Well, he set Six, that seven, up two. because he started the speed up first one right at Klinger, and then he goes down the middle with the next. Time Radikowska finding, finding the perfect spot at the feet of Alex Chong to force a side out. 7-6-1. Chance for them to extend their lead here. Point timeout changes, 8-6-1. So an end change here with Radikowska and Klinger in control here in our game to 15 of our mixed doubles main draw. They take the 8-6 lead over Johnson Cola and Alex Strong. They have held on to this lead from the very opening point of this match. But Strong and Sincola overcoming a 5, an 0-5 start to this match to work themselves all the way back within one at one point and now within two. Coming out of this end change and timeout, what do you want to see Trong and Sincola do to shorten well, the lead? I, I think they've done a good job of, of keeping Klinga off balance uh, in this last little run that got them back into it. But the other part as well is that they've taken their opportunities to speed up. They've gone into the body of Rajkowska, they're going into the body of Klinger. They've created some errors for Rajkowska going down the line. Point. But oh. they can't make those errors. No, and it's, it's going to the well just one too many times right there. They continued to try and do something and speed that ball up when they didn't have to. First one, okay, fine, they reset it, but get back into the point. Don't try and force anything. Second serve. Sincola with a smile right there. Got away with that one, but again, keeping it in nice play anyway, two. anyhow. Side out. Good ball there from Trump. Able to roll that one down. Six. Speed up there from CJ Klinger and Trong was ready for it. Yeah, that's a good counter there from Trong going right back at the body of Radikowska, not where it came from. Klinger, who was ready for it. Yeah. Sincola Point. leaving Alex Trong to defend the court, and she does. Another look here. She's all by herself here for a little bit. Oh, and she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't lay off. Gets that ball elevated and stays aggressive. One of the things that is Second interesting start. about Alex's game is we always talk about frame and you know how players use their size to their advantage. Alex, not one of the bigger players that we have here on the I APP do. tour, but she always tells me she likes to play big. And so when she gets those moments where she's on the court by herself, it's almost like I can see her thriving she's like yeah i'm ready for this moment Side and out. she may not be big but she does play big because yeah. she hits a very heavy ball yep so there is a ton of power in a small frame right there and i think she loves those moments and that's two good speed ups in a row there from rajkowska she snuck that one down the line behind trong to get the side out 10 8 one the score for radikowska serve Yeah, 
And that's another good spot there from Red Skelsky going right into that right hip of Trong. Trong Time typically sits on the backhand, slides to the right, tries to counterattack there. So by Red Skelsky going to that right hip, if she does try to slide, still going to jam her up. Trong tries to go forehand but doesn't slide to the left, jams her up. So very, very tough spot to try to pick up there right on that right hip. So a timeout called on the court. Radikowska and CJ Klinger here with a three-point lead, which is four points away from winning this match. In the second round of our main draw, it's a game to 15, must win by two. Out of the timeout, how do Radikowska and CJ Klinger keep this pressure on? Well, again, like Chad pointed out, Radikowska has some really good speed-ups and speed-ups with a purpose. She knows where she wants to go. She's hit some good spots on Trong. A good speed up on the outside left hip of Sincola one time, kept it low enough. So she's been really smart with her speed ups now. Time in, 11 8 one. I'd like to see her continue that. Second serve. Ooh, she was on yeah. it. Just cut off that swing a 11, little eight, too quickly. A good side return out. there from Sincola. Forcing the side out here. 8-11-1. 8-11-1, the score for Alex Strong. Point. To get, and they win that point right there, but right there, that ball was sitting up. I'd like to see Sincola come in and attack. Nine that is up one. through midcourt. Oh, Trong sitting on that forehand right there. Yeah, and, and I think that's a situation where, yes, Reg Kuska's had success there. Trong gives her a little bit of space, but also Reg Kuska didn't recognize that Trong wasn't all the way up at the kitchen line yet. 10, 11, that's 1. a ball where, yeah, if she's going to be aggressive, roll it down to the feet. You can't be as aggressive as if she was at the kitchen line. Second serve. Second serve forced here. 10 11 2. 10 11 2 for Sincola. The problem right there with that speed up one is high, regardless, forehand, backhand. But that is Klinger's forehand sitting there in the middle right here. See, watch, 11, he's just 10, sitting one. dead red. So it'll be a side out here. Sincola aggressive with that forehand, keeping the pressure on CJ Klinger. Alex Strong with the serve here. Sincola trying to come across and finish that point, but can't quite get it over the net. It, that was an ambitious move right there. It's it's tough to get out of there fast enough to still have that ball elevated. It already started dropping. No. That ball, no love off the tape for Radikowska and Klinger. So just like that, Sincola and Trong, tie match here. Tie game here in this match. Sincola leaving that cross court dink, just not enough on it. Just solid work from Radikowska, and she finally was able to put some pressure. She got one where she actually got some good top spin on it and put some pressure on Sincola with that one. Yeah. 
That ball left up for Klinger to put some spin on, send it down. Sincola can't adjust. Uh, it's a good counter there from Klinger. Get them back into that point, and then once you got that ball down, the ball is coming back up at him. Aggressive getting on top of it. But a good ball there from Trunk, getting it down on the feet of Klinger. 12-11-2, the score for Klinger. Oh, just dipped that shoulder a little too much. Got too much on top of it. Ends up going down with it instead of level and getting some topspin on it. Yeah. Uh, trouble that. Rajkowska, again, you know, that's a situation where you have to recognize you're not going to be able to keep them back. So you have to find the feet in that transition area. Wow, nice run here from Sincola and Trong. And in command here now. They have just refused to go away after falling early on in this game, five nothing. They have steadily not only worked their way back into this match, but they have stayed steady even when Klinger and Radikowska have started to find a rhythm again. Look at that here to tie us up at 12 all in this game to 15. What do you like about what Trong and Sincola have leaned into in order to just stay in this match? Well, like you said, you know, they, they were down, they fought back. Klinger and, and Rajkowska pulled away again. Now they've fought back, but they've, when they've made these runs to, to, to bring it back closer, they've been the more aggressive team. They've, they've taken the opportunity, they've sped up some good balls at Rajkowska, and once that ball is elevated, then they've really gone after Klinger. I apologize, it's 13 12 right now, way of Chong and Sincola. And just like that, a match point opportunity here for Alex Strong and Johnson Cola. Still on their first serve. And they won't need their second one. Alex Strong and Johnson Cola started down by five, clawed their way all the way back to take this match. 15 to 12. Another look at that match point. Impressive job from Sincola and Trong to come all the way back. Like you said, AJ, down 5 nothing early and come all the way back to take it. Klinger trying to make something happen there at the end down the line. No go. Off the sketcher sign. And it is Sincola and Trong moving on to the quarterfinals. So some great action for you so far here on championship court. More of it to come. We're going to talk about what has been and what will be when we return here to Punta Gorda.